Malaptapong was established in Sihanoukville at the southern tip of Cambodia by Maggie Eno, an Englishwoman who began working with four street children in 2003. She soon discovered a much larger need. So Malaptapong was born and grew to the largest children's organization in southern Cambodia. They currently work with 250 street children at the center while reaching over 1,000 in the streets and slums of Sihanoukville. This is my friend Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Malaptapong has a staff and volunteers of 70 whose street outreach gains the trust of children and families, allowing some of the most vulnerable to come into the center for food, literacy programs, job skills, medical attention, and other services. Each child, assessed by Malaptapong staff, has a program designed to meet her particular needs. There are many problems and a wide range of programs to deal with these. A number of children currently receiving services from Malaktapong live in the local dump. began volunteering at Malaptapong when it first opened as a nurse. And now she's returned after 18 months in the USA to develop a medical program that treats simple health problems such as skin and respiratory infections, maternal, nutritional, and child health advice. She also works with children who are victims of sexual abuse, taking them to the local clinic for exams and care, and providing referrals to counselors when necessary. Otres village, population 104 families, 450 people, was destroyed in April 2007 during a property dispute. The families lost their homes during the rainy season. 25 Malaptapong staff and volunteers built shelters for the families. Hannah provides a small outreach medical clinic, including providing necessary medication for worms, a common problem. May 11, 2007 was a special day for Malaptapong. Children in the program throughout Sihanoukville and the surrounding area were gathered up and brought to the opening of the Malaptapong Public Playground, which will provide new ways to support local street children. An Irish circus company, Bone Idol, worked with Malaptapong children for three weeks to produce the Sports Center opening day performance. In autumn 2007, a new Malaptapong Center will open extending the range of center-based services to approximately 500 children.
Tana's dream is to have a larger mobile clinic, one that would provide on-site care. She would like to see Malaptapong hire a doctor and have working space for volunteers, especially a dentist. Currently, Malaptapong provides toothbrushes to the children to take home and to use at the center. The clinic would also provide support before and after delivery to pregnant mothers. Oh, <laughs> Satan,